Hello and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant with Manly Systems. Today's video will be on how to edit a camera using the handles on our view cone. Launch MicroStation Connect Edition. Set the workspace to Bentley Connect Training. The work set to visualization and load the A underbar station model underbar MS DGN bot. Now, when we come up into our drawing again, we are going to be looking at a camera view. We want to edit that camera view. The first thing that we're going to do is to restore down our view number two, click and drag from the lower left-hand corner up to the upper right-hand corner so we can see our three views again. One other thing I want to do before we get into the define camera command is I want to go to the visualization workflow the view tab, and we're going to apply a save view to view two. So let's launch the save view dialog box, double click on view of platform two, and then left click in view two. And there we have our platform view. Go ahead and dismiss the save view dialog and we can start with define camera. Now we want to go back to the home tab. And you see it says here in the camera group, edit. There's actually three commands here. There's define camera, camera lens, and focal distance. It allows us to edit those three aspects of the camera. We want define camera. And define camera in the settings window, we have our active view set to two. That's where our perspective is. That's the camera that we want to edit. Our projection, we want to change that to two point. Reference point to target, standard lens is going to be wide. And then we want to make sure that these two buttons are on down at the bottom, continuous view updates and display view cone. The display view cone is exactly what you see in view one here. This is a view cone. We're displaying it so we can see that. And then continuous view updates means that if I grab my eye point here and move it around, you see it continually updates view two. That's continuous view updates. So we can see what we're doing basically on the fly. We're going to cover the handles in this session. We have four handles on our view cone. The one back here where the uh, points come together, that's our eye point or our camera point. Just opposite that here on the view cone, that is our target point or where we're looking. Okay. The other corner here is our focal distance. And if you hover over these with your cursor, you can see a tooltip will pop up. So that's modify camera angle. That's our view angle. And then the middle one here is move camera. That moves the camera as a whole. So let's very quickly just uh, play around with these a little bit. So I can click on the camera point, the eye point, and you can see the view update in view two as I move that around. So I can move in close, farther away, and I can change how I look at that building. So I'm going to stand out here a little bit. Maybe I want a view that looks at the top of the building. Now I can also grab these handles in the elevation view. So like I said, right now my eye point is six feet off the ground or two meters off the ground, a little over six feet. But I can click here in the front elevation and I can move that up and you can see that I'm looking above the building. Now I'm going to have to adjust my target point. So I'm going to take my target point here, click on it, and I'm going to move it down. I can also move my viewpoint in the top elevation or my target point in the top elevation and tell it what I want to look at. Maybe I want to look at something different. Camera angle is my lens, right? A wide area lens or a narrow. This is a narrow lens. This would be a wide lens. So I can use that to help frame in my view. And then the middle handle is just move the camera as a whole. Those are the handles. That is the easiest way to edit the camera and move the camera around. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like.
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.